has been running for some time now. Now 343 New York firefighters were killed when they bravely ran into the Twin Towers on this day 18 years ago. Now today Russell Holland Jr. is running the track here behind me. You can probably see him coming in and out. He's running it 343 times to be exact and it's all to remember the fallen. This year will be the first year that the high school graduating class will be predominantly uh, were unborn on 9-11. 18 years later, the saying never forget isn't lost here. You can hear it in every footstep from midnight to the early hours of the morning. On the anniversary of a day that changed America forever, Russell Holland Jr. hopes to help unite us once more. Even though it was a tragic event, that it highlighted that we can really pull together. He's running 343 laps around this Powhatan High School track. One lap in memory of each New York firefighter who died in the September 11th attacks. Kind of off lap 209, firefighter Dennis McHugh. And he's not alone. Wow. He's doing it in partnership with Powhatan Fire and Rescue. It brings back all those emotions that we had then because it was it's so so important for the brotherhood, sisterhood of, of the fire community. As the day goes on, more and more people continue to show. And this event isn't just for runners. Holland is inviting everyone, members of the public, to lace up, come out, and hit the track. Donna Schultz felt called to run, too. Just to remember these people. As she has every year. Every 9-11, I run 9.11 miles in memory of Ronald Hemingway. He was killed in the attack on the Pentagon, and he was one of five whose remains were never found. So many people with so many stories. <laughs> and with every step... How you feeling, though? Holland says he's keeping one thing in mind. We've just talked a lot about raising awareness of what it felt like. Never forget. For a short period of time, we stopped thinking of each other as, Love you, man. you know, this political party or that political party. And we really came together to, to embrace each other. Absolutely, and that's what this event is really all about. Now, all the proceeds from this event will go back towards Powhatan first responders. And Holland plans to be on the track for a total of 21 hours. That means you still have time to get out here. He's going to be out here till around 7 this evening. And he says any and all are welcome to come join him on the track. Working for you in Powhatan, I'm Shannon Lilly, CBS 6 News.